Welcome to the Clap Back with Julie Reginsky, where we take Twitter back from the trolls, so haters may hate, but I clap back. And my clap back apparently hit so hard, it reached all the way to Russia. And they went from bear to troll. Here's a little refresher from last week's segment. For our overlords in Russia, and especially to Balodia from Leningrad, so Russia Today, or RT as they like to be called now because they don't really want anybody to know that it's Russia Today, jumped on that. Quote, Fox News host speaks Russian on air in outburst to potential Russian overlords. Well, it really wasn't an outburst, it was quite planned. And then it gets better. Apparently Nick, uh, or some guy claiming to be Nick, the press secretary of the Russian embassy here in the U.S., felt similarly calling what I was saying Russia phobia, to which I responded, quote, nice to be trolled by the Russian embassy, which apparently forgets how Soviets forced those in their sphere of influence to learn Russian. Let me remind our viewers of what Russification is. It's the policy of enforcing Russian culture and language on the vast numbers of ethnic minorities that lived in the Russian Empire. And according to the BBC, for Russification under Stalin by the end of the 1930s, the Christian church and the Muslim religion were forbidden. Ethnic groups were persecuted and Russification, the acceptance of Russian language and customs, was enforced throughout the Soviet Union. And despite all that, Nick is still looking for an I'm sorry, or as we say in Russian, So I responded to that request with this tweet. Here's a deal. You apologize for cyber espionage illegally annexing Crimea, and I'll apologize for my Moscow accent not being what it once was. Because you know Nick, or Kola, which is the Russian nickname for Nick, you should really learn the history of your country, the country that I came from also, which is that the Russians, the Russian majority, oppressed every single minority, not just in the former Soviet Union, forcing them to learn Russian, taking on Russian customs, but also in their sphere of influence in the near abroad, in the places that they took over in the Warsaw Pact, forcing those people to learn the Russian language in schools, making sure that they had some sort of affinity for the Russian culture. You know who knows that? Vladimir Putin, because he spent a lot of his KGB career in East Germany, and the last time I was in East Berlin, before they merged into one Berlin, there were a lot of signs there in Russian. Why would the Germans ever have to learn Russian if they didn't have to have any sort of Russification foisted upon them? So let me say it in English to our potential Russian overlords. Haters or entire governments may hate, but I clap back. I'm Julie Reginsky with Fox News.